What do you want? To get 18 trash. And this nigga gonna invite me anyway. Treasure. Ah! The fuck up, bitch. Bro, I'm not playing right now. Niggas be fucking selling. Niggas always want me to fucking play with them, but they never pass the fucking ball when I play. Like, what the fuck, nigga? How no? The fuck I look like? Played this game in years. That's what it's gonna have to come down to, right, bitch? Twitter. Fucking Twitter. Take the shot, nigga. Okay. Stop complaining. Shut up. 
Yeah. Nigga, you shut up, nigga. You the one complaining and whining and shit. Goddamn right, nigga. Now what? Man, why you take this shot? Hey, how many points you got, though? <laughs> you taking all the goddamn shots, dumbass? See, I see why, nigga. You ain't taking no shots. Sorry, ass, nigga. Get your bum ass up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, take a three, nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Oh. Get us back in the lead. Get us back in the lead, trash ass, nigga. Nigga, stick defense, trash ass, nigga. Stick deep, nigga. Stick deep, nigga. Stick D, nigga. Stick D, nigga. Stick D, nigga. Trans ass, bomb ass, nigga. Mark, hello. There you go. Look, wide open, nigga. Take the shot. Look, sorry, nigga. Take the shot. We good. That's a stupid shot. Bam. Nigga, what you. Nigga, take the shot, nigga. You standing passing the motherfucker. You sorry. We good. Good shit, boy. Bomb ass, nigga. Nigga, take the shot, nigga. Quit passing it. Stop getting beat off. Look at you, nigga. Look at your man, nigga. No defense. It's 8 to 0. Oh my god. Nigga, you ain't got no defense, nigga. You trash. Take the shot, nigga. Trash. Look at you. Seventeen my lit. Nigga, that's what you did, nigga. You started nigga, nigga, you boy. trash, nigga. I, know, I haven't played this shit in a minute, nigga, though. Nigga, you trash, nigga. Take your motherfucking game back, nigga. Oh, now it's a video game. Now it's a video game. Now it's a video game. Now you don't play. I mean, no, look, look. So, nigga, it's still on it because it's better nigga. than 2K18. I, I wouldn't say better, but... If I, nigga, it's I, it's better than, it's like, yeah, pretty much, it's better than 2 Look at your man, nigga, running all over you, nigga, he's getting a game on your bitch ass. Look, game, sorry ass, nigga, you lucky. Okay, go ahead, go with it. Nigga, I got my, I got this, nigga. <laughs> your dumb man don't even know how to set a screen, nigga. Okay, play me. I bet your, I bet your man he game with a shot. Look, bomb ass, nigga. Get faced on your bitch ass. Put nuts all in your face. <laughs> nigga, put nuts all in your face. Get the fuck off the court. Dump. Nigga, you trash. Oh, that nigga put nuts in your face, nigga. Nigga dunked on you for the last shot. Nigga, you garbage, nigga. Okay. Take your game back to Walmart, broke ass, nigga. You do that. Your mama, you next to the trash can. Ass, nigga. Stressful. She should have avoided your wack ass. Nigga, get cut off, nigga. We can't even hear your bomb ass no more. Uh. Nigga, sorry's here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he killed this shit. Uh, oh, that nigga just airballed. GG.
motherfucker ain't made another shot after that fucking shot. If, hey, we ain't gonna talk about you, nigga. You got motherfucking nuts put in your face for the game winner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and you missed that motherfucker. So what are you? Yeah. You trash, nigga. Yeah, all right, man. Yeah, right, man, that's your, that's how you define trash, you stupid as fuck, just like a thug, nigga. You took one shot, nigga, you wouldn't send no fucking screens, nigga, in your defense's ass, nigga. Let me know. Alright, you. I am a shot creating sharpshooter, nigga. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get I have biblical shots, nigga. Limitless range, nigga. Can't just shoot, nigga. So what are you talking about? Five. What are your badges? What are your badges? No, no. What are your badges, bro? No, no, no. What are your badges, Rolling? Yeah. What are your badges, Rolling? Oh. Nigga, we start. We gonna start calling you Rolling. What are your badges, Rolling? <laughs> yeah, we gonna keep calling you. Where are your badges, Rolling? You trash, nigga. We gonna keep calling. You. Where are your badges, Rolling? We start calling you. Why did you have any steals, Rolling? You dumb as. You're an embarrassment. What's your father's? What is your father's middle name, Roland? You don't know it. My mother and father. My mother and father married, motherfucker. Look, look, look. Roland's parents have a real good marriage. Then nigga hop out the spot. Hey, how's it going, all you most basic top teners? I'm your host for today, Landon Delitzing, and welcome back to a brand new video. Let me know in the comments up there, and you're getting shot. When the judge handed down her sentence, the girl's mother dropped to the floor, crying out of extreme grief. The teenage girl was screaming for her mother and begging the judge to give her a lighter sentence. And oh yeah, I have a video clip of this. Watch. <laughs> Since number nine, Brandon Spencer is serving a life sentence for opening fire at a Halloween party store, and this took place at the University of Southern California. He was charged with four counts of attempted murder, and this is his reaction to his arraignment. <laughs> 21-year-old Brandon Spencer of Inglewood bangs his head as a judge sentences him to 40 years to life after he was convicted of shooting a rival gang member at a 2012 Halloween party on the USC campus. Number eight oh, hell two no. females who freak out after receiving a life sentence. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I think it's gonna play with them niggas. Fuck out of here. in court after they were both handed life sentences for the death of a three-year-old girl. Shortly after the judge read their sentencing, they fell to the floor with emotional outcries and they had to be wheeled out of the courtroom. Okay, moving into number seven, definitely unlucky number seven for this one. Jalel Hoskins pleaded guilty to second-degree murder after tampering with evidence after he violently murdered a mother of five and dumped her body in a trash dumpster. When the judge ordered him to serve a life sentence without the possibility of parole, he threw the podium towards the judge and he had to be dragged out of the courtroom by the deputies. Take a look at this. Nigga, you're about to lose. I don't know why the fuck you dancing in my face for, you stupid bitch. You're about to be locked up the whole game because I know I'm guarding you. For stabbing a nurse at a mental health facility. Instead of making any last minute pleas, he threatens to kill the judge if he didn't let him out of jail. Like, as if that was going to work. Listen to me. You don't let me out of here, I'm going to f*** on you. I'm going to take your life if you don't let me out of here. Okay? I'm done. Yeah, 
that's probably not the smartest thing to say. Who literally has your fate in her hands? A 19 year old man went into an aggressive rage after a jury sentenced him to death for a murder, and this comes in to number four. He began knocking down chairs before he was tackled by dozens of courtroom officers who eventually dragged him out of the courtroom. Take a look at this outburst. Clamp stretch big. A what? Sixty-five years. God, guard your fucking man, stupid bitch. You probably know the customary ritual of granting a prisoner a last meal before their execution. These vary from Ooh. country to country, especially depending on the Ooh. country's stance on capital punishment. Ooh. But in the United States, most states oh, you're the trash, nigga. Execution, but a day or two beforehand under the euphemism special meal. That nigga's an ass. Under your request being granted, there have been some prisoners that have requested meals that are interesting enough to take a look at. You're watching Top Trending, and today we're taking a look at 25 distinctly weird last meal requests. We're starting the list off with an entry that's both kind of funny but also kind of sad at the same time. David Leon Woods wants to Why are you shooting that, meal. bro? What the fuck? Birthday, but Stupid he ass nigga. One last time. For no oh my one, god, Andrew bro. Lackey. Andrew just Shoot it! Interesting combination of food and his execution and nigga, y'all niggas are trash! French fries and grilled cheese. I don't see how the turkey belongs to Oh my god, bro. Hey, each their own. Lackey was also the first person. Y'all niggas are butts! 
Poor Alabama. You were doing so well, and one guy just ruined it. What a fucking bull, nigga. At number 23, we have Asmal Kassab, Kassab, who was executed in India. Get the fuck out of my way, you stupid cunt. Actually declined fuck out of here. But he's still worthy to be on this list, because instead of giving him nothing, the prison just decided to give him a basket of tomatoes. Maybe he hated tomatoes, who knows? At number 22, we have Alton Coleman, a terrible person. Partly because he's a serial killer, but also because of his final meal. It's oh my god, bro. These niggas are making some bullshit, bro. These niggas on my team are trash. Fuck it. Nigga, you're what? Oh my god, bro. This nigga is dumb. Nigga's wide open, my nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid ass nigga? Guard your man. That should have been considered a crime, too. Number 21, Christopher Brooks was a simple man. My fucking God, bro. All he for his I can't with these niggas. These niggas are straight ass. Sounds like a delicious meal. Why the fuck did you pass me the ball? At number 20, we have Adolf Eichmann. Like Eichmann was one of the major organizers of the Holocaust and was executed in 1962 in Israel. Declining a special meal, he that just was a white light like a motherfucker, nigga. You get no green for ass. With the normal prison food, Guard your man. Cheese, bread, olives, and tea. Before his execution, he drank half of the bottle, wanting to get drunk before the execution of his own. Oh, he's trash. Roger Caseman makes our list at number 19 for his You're a garbage, nigga! His last meal was a communion wafer. Shortly before his execution, he converted to Catholicism and stated he wanted to go to We're a... pass the ball! That is my last meal. Number 18 oh my god. Yo, y'all niggas are shit. He's also likely the most recent case on this list. With his execution... Nigga, take the fucking ball. Why y'all passing it too much? Nigga, you got wide open. Take the fucking shot. He chose to receive Holy Communion as his last meal. Timothy McVeigh, who caused the Niggas are shit, bro. Oh my god. I'm about to start throwing his fucking ball, bro. That niggas are trash. The fuck? Niggas is shit. Fuck out of here. In our number 16 spot is Robert Dale Conklin. Robert is by far the fanciest man on our list. His last you shot that, too. You're fucking shit, nigga. Kill yourself. You and your mother, you pussy. Fucking butt cheeks, nigga. Delete the fucking game. Y'all niggas are ass. French bread with butter, goat cheese, cantaloupe, apple pie with vanilla bean ice cream, and an iced tea. I fucking lock down shoot better than your sharpshooter, bitch. Fuck out of here, nigga. Not doing none of that shit on me. Our number 15 position goes to Thomas J. Grasso. There are a few people on this list. Stop playing like trash, you stupid bitch. Thomas J. Grasso is one of those. The double murderer requested two dozen steamed mussels, two dozen steamed clams, half a dozen barbecued spare ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, two strawberry. Stupid. 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 Oh, oh yeah, we in. We in there. We in the paint. Shoot it. You supposed to shoot it, nigga. Milkshakes, half Good a take. pumpkin pie with whipped cream and diced strawberries. He also it's ordered a 16 selling. ounce can of spaghetti and meatballs, which he wanted to be served at room temperature. However, he complained in a public statement that he had actually ordered spaghettios, not just normal spaghetti. I almost feel bad for the guy, but then again, maybe not. Number 14 on this list goes to John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was executed oh, nah. in 1994 for murdering He's and dumb. sexually assaulting 33 young boys while dressed up as a clown. His last meal wasn't as insane as him, but still a bit crazy. Fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC original recipe chicken, fries, and lastly, a pound of strawberries. Yes, a pound. Strawberries are tasty, but that seems a bit excessive to us. At number 13, we have Stephen Woods. Woods was executed in 2011 for the murder of a young couple. His last request was quite a big one as well. Two pounds of bacon, a large four-meat pizza, four fried chicken breasts, two Bro, get the fuck out of my way. Beer and sweet tea, two pints of ice cream, five chicken Fucking fries, shit, steak, bro. That niggas are trash. A dozen garlic breadsticks with marinara on the side. The fuck? Peter J. Menil, Niggas are shit. Death row inmate meals in history was requested by Menil. He asked for 20 beef tacos. So fucking garbage. Pies, two double cheeseburgers, a jalapeno pizza, fried chicken, spaghetti, fruit cake, half of a chocolate cake, half of a vanilla cake. I knew he was going to miss too. Caramel pecan fudge ice cream, two cokes, two Pepsis, two root beers. Fucking trash ass niggas, but that nigga is shit. I can see that nigga in real life. I'll smack the shit out of both of y'all garbage ass niggas. Get in your fucking ankles, bro. Get in your shit, baby. Y'all niggas are trash, bro. Oh my goodness. 
Made me lose to these bum ass niggas, bruh. Niggas some shit. Allegedly just stating that this meal wouldn't be his last, which is fairly ominous. Our number nine goes to Steven Anderson. Anderson's request also starts out. Bro, if y'all niggas gonna pick up one screen, y'all niggas are shit. Straight like that. Oh my god, who leaves this nigga open? Who leaves him open, bro? Who leaves him open, bro? Y'all niggas are trash. Made me lose to these bum ass niggas, bro. Gary's another person who simply ordered a fucking shit. One Pizza Hut Supreme deep dish pizza fucking with double mushrooms. Fucking garbage ass niggas, bro. I hate playing with random, but that nigga need to just go somewhere and kill yourself. Oh my goodness. Go jump off a fucking cliff. Bum ass niggas. Niggas are shit. Niggas know how to do everything else but play the fucking video game, bro. Like, that niggas are shit. Fucking bum ass nigga. I know I certainly wouldn't be able to. Number seven, Ronnie Lee Gardner's meal may not sound very strange or crazy at first. Steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a seven up. However, in addition to the food, he also asked for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. He was even allowed to finish the whole trilogy before his execution. How nice of the wardens. Number six on our list is Victor Figuere. This is a really curious one. Figuere requested a single olive with the pit still in it. Maybe he loved olives. Maybe he had never tried one before. Who knows the reason? What's interesting is that after his execution, the olive pit was found in his suit pocket. According to some, the pit was actually buried with him. Number five is Odell Barnes. He's another criminal who didn't request a normal meal or even a joke meal to mess with the prison. Instead, he simply requested justice, equality, and world peace. A murderer advocating for world peace seems like a bit of an oxymoron, though. Number four might be one of the most famous entries on this list. Lawrence Brewer, a white supremacist who committed the racially motivated merch giant orders. So his request was accepted. But when the food arrived, he didn't eat any of it, claiming that he just wasn't hungry. As of 2011, Texas has stopped granting last meal requests. Number three is potentially relatable to Quadrell. Her final meal request was just to have a hamburger and some other snack while the prison canteen. So she was probably already. But our number two spot comes pretty close to topping it. Philip Workman was executed for murdering a police officer. And he apparently didn't ask and would give a large vegetarian pizza to a homeless person in Nash Spy people to bring hundreds of pizzas to homeless shelters on the day Workman was executed. That means he actually caused something good to happen. Had he not killed someone, he could even be Ward Smith. Mr. Smith requested a lump of dirt. There's not much to say about this one. He apparently just ate dirt before his death. Sadly, the prison denied this request and just gave him a cup of yogurt instead. Hopefully he enjoyed that yogurt as much as he would have enjoyed